Hey everybody, welcome back to Celeste. How's it going today? Um, we are heading into Reflection, Chapter 6. So, uh, I'm kind of curious because there's this guy that's like, it is impossible to outrun your own reflection. Huh. Alright then. But I was kind of curious with this fire and ice type thing it's got going on. Oh yeah, look at her. She's so strong, man, lifting that grown man. I mean, climbing this mountain has probably strengthened her legs a lot too, that's for sure. God, when I was working out, man, did I ever hate leg days, but I think everybody is like that when they're when they're working out. It's so painful. Theo, you're awake. Am I? I'm skeptical. I, I had a messed up nightmare. Yeah, about that. Wait. Oh, yep, it's all coming back to me now. Uh, that actually happened. Thanks for getting us out of there. <laughs> I'm glad we were in it together. I don't know if I could have done that alone. Oh, whoa! You can actually ask questions, that's interesting. How long was I out for? It must have been a few hours. Man, what a ride. Tell me about it. Are you okay? I mean, aside from the existential crisis? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> Clearly this isn't a normal mountain. What's really going on here? I should have told you sooner, uh, back at the old ruins, a part of me escaped from a mirror. A part of him I'm not very proud of. I swear I dreamt it. You think the mountain made her real? Yeah, she's been haunting me the whole time. She last out at Mr. Osiro. Blah, 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 I can't talk. I think she was the reason the gondola stalled out, and she was there in the temple. Well, yeah, she was there when the gondola did, you know, destroy something. Why didn't you say something? I would have gotten. I wouldn't have gone to that temple if I knew that what this mountain was capable of. I tried to stop you. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You could have mentioned that your demon doppelganger was on the loose. Come on, Theo. You know how crazy this sounds. I don't even believe it myself. Okay, okay. I understand. Next time, just talk to me, though. I promise I'll believe you. Well, now you would have to. Okay. Let's ask him that, yeah. Why is it so easy for you to trust me? Seriously, you barely know me. Honestly? You remind me of my sister. That's adorable. What's she like? Oh, you'd love her. Actually, you might not get along at first, but you'd eventually love her. <laughs> She's a literal rock star. She's a musician? That's so cool! Okay, she's not literally a literal rock star. <laughs> Alex is just amazing at everything. She's studying to be a civil rights lawyer. Wow, jeez! That's pretty impressive. Wow! How do I remind you of her? You both live so deep in your own head? Oh... Alex has this amazing internal compass. It's obvious that she'll get where she needs to be. I can see that in you too. I wish I could say that same for myself. Hmm. I don't know what I should choose here. Yeah, I should choose that. Thank you, Theo, for believing in me back there, I mean. Believing you is the easy part. I wish I could have helped. I was pretty useless stuck in that thing. You actually helped a lot. Honestly, I couldn't have made it without your support. Your sister ground sounds great. I really remind you of her? Are you kidding me? You're the one who's dead set on climbing this mountain, and you don't even know why? That's classic Alex. I'm just teasing you. Why are you climbing the mountain anyways? You're right. I don't even know why. I just had to get out of my head. I'm stuck in a cycle. You're preaching to the choir here. I've had many a soul-destroying day job. Work is fine, actually. I just... I'm going crazy. I can't stop thinking about the dumb crap that doesn't matter. Madeline, you're preaching to the choir here. Jesus Christ, she's so relatable. Man, like, what? she's like the most relatable protagonist I've ever seen in a game. It's crazy. Like, the writing is just on point so much in this game. My brain fixates on those stupid things that happened forever ago. I should be over them. None of it even matters. I'm good at keeping up appearances, but the truth is I'm barely holding it together. I'm sorry, that's pretty rough stuff. Can I help? 
you're already helping. It feels good to say it out loud. That's true, I, I mean, talking in episode 2, sorry to interrupt the game flow here, you guys, but, um, when I talked to you guys in episode 2 about, like, how I was feeling, like, kind of overwhelmed and, you know, wanting to do more and kind of, like, stuck in this rut, kind of like how Madeline's feeling, too, like, she's worried about, like, the little things that don't matter, that's kind of how I feel, um, and, you know, talking to somebody, like, even talking to you guys really helped me out, it was just kind of like venting or, you know, like saying it out loud, just, you know, to show, it, it helps for people to like, you know, just listen to you is what I'm trying to say. It's, it's very nice that, you know, you guys are there for me and I really appreciate that and just thank you guys so much. All the, the warm comments you guys had was so nice and I really appreciate that and I never really properly thank you guys so thank you so much and sorry, we'll continue on now. You don't want to talk to anyone about it? No, not really. My mom knows I get depressed and I have panic attacks. That's about it. No wonder you feel trapped. How do you cope with anything? I drink mostly. Aww. <laughs> and I get mad at people on the internet. <laughs> That's really cute. Oh man, we can talk so much about this. Yeah, I want to keep talking because this is so amazing. Who do you think built the temple? It looks ancient. Uh, it must predate everything else on the mountain. The resort, the ruins, the city. There's a lot of history here. Yeah, this mountain has meant so many things to so many people. I'm starting to understand why that crazy old lady lives here. <laughs> yeah, really? You ran into her too? What's her deal? I think she's just a mean person. But she does seem pretty content living out here. Yeah, let's ask Theo why he's here. Like, a, he never really sp specifically said why. How about you? What brought you to the mountain? I'm just kind of bumming around, as usual. I started this new job in Seattle. I thought I finally knew what I was supposed to be doing with my life, but I hated it. So I quit after a week and hopped on a bus to Canada. Yeah, right on Canada! <laughs> I just felt this urge to get lost in the middle of nowhere. Now that I'm saying it out loud, I realize how flaky it sounds. It just sounds like you're under a lot of pressure. Not really. Everyone is so patient with me. Though I guess I'm putting a lot of pressure on myself. People always think I'm comparing myself to Alex, but I swear that isn't the problem. I'm just worried that I'll never figure out where I'm going. Oh my god, these- both of these characters are amazing. So relatable, man. <laughs> like, holy shit. You said you wanted to feel lost? Maybe you should just embrace that f for now. <clears throat> Maybe. Yeah, let's talk about this first. Would you mind talking about what depression is like? Mm, it sucks. <laughs> yeah, definitely. But yeah, but what does it feel like? Alex struggles with it too, I really want to understand. We can talk about something else if you want. Uh, it's like... I'm at the bottom of the ocean. I can't see anything in any direction. It's claustrophobic, yet I feel exposed. I remember feeling normal, but now it just feels out of reach, no matter what I try. Then again, I was probably always messed up. It just took something hurtful to bring it out. There must be something wrong with me. Whatever happened, I'm sure it's not your fault. Yeah, what happened then? I guess I thought it could. I don't know. I'm just floating in this abyss, swimming in a random direction, hoping that I find something. That's really why I'm here. But I can't escape myself. I'm literally fighting myself the entire way. Maybe this is all pointless. Madeline, you just saved my life. That's not pointless. That is very true. Yeah. Look, you're a good person. You're a little intense, but you're a good person. I think you're trying to push out the, of that rut you're stuck in, and that's a totally legit, legit reason to climb the mountain. Exactly! She's doing something different. That's what you need to do whenever you're feeling like that. You've got to do something that makes you feel good, you know, like do something different for once. Maybe that that's helpful. This is part of you that's haunting you. Maybe she comes with the territory. So you think I'm stuck with her forever? Well, she's stuck with you too. <laughs> That's true. That's not helpful. Man, I love these conversations. Sorry, I'm just gonna keep going on with this. I'm so interested in this. 
So you want to destroy this part of you? Won't that hurt you too? If I don't, she just keeps bullying me. She says protecting me... She says she's protecting me, but that's obviously not true. Maybe she thinks she is. She could be some kind of twisted defense mechanism. True. Honestly, who cares? She has so much control over me. I hate it. Maybe you can learn to control her instead. The feather helps a lot. Thanks for teaching me that. Yeah, really, that was a, such an awesome move, Theo. Just one of my grandpa's many nuggets of wisdom. Yeah, we should ask him about his grandpa, too. Are you close to your grandpa? Yeah, I was. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay, that's just how it is. All I can do is stay positive and live a meaningful life, because that's what he would want. I'm so sorry, Theo. Thanks. Yeah, let's see. What else did you learn from your grandpa? So much stuff. Actually, he was the one who taught me, told me about Celeste Mountain. He always said that this place changed his life. After I quit my job in Seattle, I realized how close I was to it. It felt like it was telling me to come here. Grandpa said the mountain was special. <laughs> Quote unquote. Do you think he went through the temple like, that, like us? Do you think he understood the power of the mountain? He never talked about what happened here. I doubt your grandpa was as messed up as me. His experience was probably less violent. He found the mountain before I was born. I don't know what he was like before that. I wonder what he learned about himself here. Why not take a vacation instead? What do you mean? Dude, you needed a change so you chose to close, climb a mountain. Why not do something relaxing instead? Go to Hawaii or like take a bath? <laughs> I guess I felt like I needed to accomplish something. Yeah, that's... I totally agree with that. Accomplishing things in your life is something that you really need. It sounds like you have enough on your plate already. I guess it's kind of extreme, but that's how I am. I need something to challenge me. And I can't just do something a little bit. It's all of me or nothing. Oh, that's really, really awesome, Madeline. You know what? I want to remember this night. Let's take a selfie. Oh, yay! Right on! I thought you'd never ask. Oh, that is so cute. Aww. They actually look happy for once. You can tell it's getting close to the end. You know, despite everything, I feel pretty good right now. Wait a second. You're going to reach the summit tomorrow. Don't jinx it. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm ready to put this all behind me. I'll be cheering you on. We should get some sleep. Okay, good night, Theo. Thanks for being cool. What can I say? It comes naturally. <laughs> I knew he was gonna say that. <laughs> oh man, that was so sweet. Oh yeah, we're in the dreamlike state again. I thought so. Oh, look at that! Beautiful Aurora Borealis there. That's amazing. Oh, I was hoping something would be up there. What the hell's with this feather? Whoa, 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 what? Whoa, we're flying in the sky. Oh my lord. Whoa. This is beautiful. Holy crap. Oh, I have to actually dash through that one. Okay, I gotcha. You want me to dash in between shit. I gotcha. We're just going to keep climbing up. Oh, okay, so as long as we keep picking him up, we can just keep going. Okay, that's really cool. Just like, wee! Whoa, we're floating. What's happening? Oh, shit, whoa, okay. The northern lights are so beautiful. Yeah, they are. Where are we? We need to talk. Oh, okay. I finally understand who you are. You're not my true reflection. I'm not? You're everything I need to leave behind. You're cruel, paranoid, controlling. Why would you say that? No, it's okay. I, I understand now. I don't need you anymore. So you're just... abandoning me? I'm setting you free. We'll both be so much happier. You're so... so... STUPID! Oh shit, she like came out of the frame, that's really cool. You think you can just leave me behind? You think you can blame me everything on me? 
You think you're above me? Oh shit, she's really coming out. Answer me! Calm down, please. Calm down? Breathe, Madeline. Use the feather. Oh, we're actually gonna need to use it again. Oh, sweet. Oh, this is so awesome. I waited the entire moment for this. Is this when we're actually gonna get rid of Badalyn? Oh shit, it's... Oh, is it... Oh, it's not working! Oh god! Oh god! You're going to think about a feather to stop me? Shit! You're not above me, and you can't climb this mountain. It's time to accept that. Oh shit. I was really hoping that would work. Madeline, what's happening? Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh no, she fell! Oh no! She fell so far! Wow, she doesn't like breaking through stuff too. I'm kind of surprised this hasn't killed her. I love how like the the music changes while you're underwater. Oh my lord, stupid battling. Whoa, what the fuck? Okay, <laughs> I was just not expecting that at all. <laughs> like, I was, like when it's going back, it's just like, duh. <laughs> it's got like this fucking hilarious looking face to it. Where am I supposed to go from here? Wait. Oh, you can. Oh, you can hit it up. Oh, okay. So I gotta wait till it goes back and then do this. There we go. Wee. That's really cool. Oh shit. There's spikes everywhere. Oh god. Oh god. That was really close. Okay. There's nothing off to the left there. This kind of reminds me of another game I played. It kind of. It kind of looks like Chasm a little bit. There's just like some Metroidvania game I was playing. I kind of want to do a review on it still. Okay, so I feel like we need to bring this over here. Oh god! <laughs> it moved way too fast! I was like, oh shit. Okay. Get up there! Oh god damn it! <laughs> it's so hard to get up there. I guess maybe like I should just... Wait, I can't do that either. Okay, I have to hit like a specific way and then- Okay, so I can just jump on it. And then hit it this way. Oh shit. Whoa, there we go. Okay, so that is the only way you can get to the left there. Oh, oh shit, I don't know if I was supposed to do that. No, I was not. Okay, let's just try that again. <laughs> I think we have to make like our way all the way through here. You know that feather actually controls really, really well. Like it looks really awkward when I'm using it. But it actually like is very, very useful. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! Oh god, that was really close. Okay, we need to make it up here. There we go. Thank god for platforms. Oh, okay, I wasn't supposed to break it out of there. No, shit, okay. Do that, and then that. Perfect. Oh shit! Oh, I was supposed to jump off of it! Oh no. There we go. I was kind of wondering if it was going to make me do that too. Alright, we're at a checkpoint. Alright, good. Shit, I don't know where I'm supposed to go. What the hell is that thing? Oh shit, okay, I was actually supposed to go there. I was so close, it's over now. Why won't she leave me alone? I hate her! But she's a part of me. I'll never be able to get rid of her. And she was right. I couldn't climb the mountain. No, you can do it, Madeline. Don't let your dark part of you cause any problems for you anymore. Don't listen to it. It's nothing. Oh, I wonder if we can break that. Oh, fuck. <laughs> that was dumb. I think I might have to hit it from the... Oh, yeah, I, I do have to hit it from the bottom. Okay. That's gonna be interesting. There we go. Wait. Oh, there's a thing off to the left. Oh, shit. I just realized that. Okay, I need to get back up there. At least, like, bouncing off the... Oh, fuck. Off the wall doesn't cause anything. 
Ah, shit. That's gonna be really hard to time that now. Shit. I can't do it fast enough. I missed my opportunity. Ah, oh, damn it. How am I supposed to do that now? I can't get it down there. It's gonna be really hard to figure this out. Damn it, it's still not fast enough. Ah! I know there's something over there, I just wanna to get to it. Son of a bitch. I think that's like the only way I can go, too. There's a feather hiding in there, you see that? Like in that little pat, uh, part there? Well, I was supposed to go down here for sure, so I wonder if, like, using this feather to get to the top right is where I need to go. Yeah, that's definitely where it is. And then I gotta smash that and then go up. Okay. Whoa, okay, this is, uh... Get up there, holy oh, crap. Well, that's not where I'm supposed to go. Okay. We gotta go around, I guess. Holy shit, how do you get up there? Oh, hey, there's something off to the left here. <laughs> All right, that works. Cool. What the hell? What is this? Huh. Okay, so there's a pause and then... It looks like left, right, up, down. That is confusing. I wonder if that leads to a crystal heart. It probably does. And I have no idea how to solve that. Oh, wait, the colors are the same as they were in the first level. Remember, like, with the satellite? So maybe it's linked to that somehow. Because I, I definitely know there's something going on with that satellite. I just have no idea how to solve it, so... Okay, I see, I see. Wee! I like how she just kind of, like, squeezes. <laughs> That's really funny. Huh, okay, I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna... Damn it. Oh god, fuck, I just crushed myself. That was really dumb. Okay, I feel like I need to go back down here and make my way back up here again. Because I don't think I could break this myself, no. Aw oh, man, what's over there? I want to know. Oh, you only get like a certain... Damn, you only get like a certain amount of time to get up there. You pretty much have to like... Oh god, I don't know if like, I actually have to climb all the way back up here. I would assume that's the case. Because... It seems like the only way to get up here... Wait, what? But the crystals are there though. Huh. Well, this got really puzzling. There we go, that's what I wanted to do. And then hit him that way. No, oh, that's the wrong way. No, 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 stay. Oh, thank God. Oof. <laughs> there, that's how we did it. Oh. Okay. 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 No, I didn't do it. <laughs> so maybe this is just where the B side is? Oh shit, wow, that dash man just flings ya. Go. Oh god. Oh god, there we go. Shit, I timed that wrong. Yeah, there is a B side over here. Okay, so at least we are getting to, like a little bit of a secret. Because I'm not really sure about that other one. Okay, I just gotta time this. Damn it! Oh, <laughs> that's so hard to time. This one might actually be like one of the harder ones I've had to get through. There we go. Oh god. There we go. Oh no! Okay, huh. I wonder. I might be doing this completely wrong. Oh, 
Oh god, okay, I think I need to dash into that one and then just dash to the pink one right away. Instead of just waiting on that other platform. I think that's what I need to do. There we go. Oh yeah, we did it! Woohoo! B-side unlocked. God, what would the B-side of this stage be? Because <laughs> I've heard there are like more difficult sections of it, so... Yeah, so I definitely have to climb up. I wonder if like, when you're in the feather, that um... It causes you to... Oh jeez, I gotta get up here. Oh god. Jump off the wall. Yeah, there we go. I wonder if like the feather causes you to go through them. No, it just kills you. So what am I supposed to do here? This is very odd. Oh, there's a section off to the right. Okay. Well, of course there was. The whole fucking time. <laughs> I love all this water. It's so beautiful. So we're probably supposed to hold on to him! <laughs> Except not like that. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, wow. I just got flung right off of him. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. You can just duck under it. That breaks off that platform. Okay. I see. I see. Except, what do I do? <laughs> Back. Oh shit, no! Okay, so I was supposed to hit it off and then hold onto the side. Okay, I got you. Oh god, fuck! I wanted to uh, land at the top and then just duck under like there. There we go. There. Gotta make sure I don't get crushed though. Woo! <laughs> Fucking hell, man. Alright, well, you know what? This is all I have time for today, so we're going to continue on through Reflections in the next episode. Man, this game is amazing, you guys. If you haven't picked it up yet, then please do yourself a favor and do it. Uh, you know, uh, as I mentioned in the first episode, Limited Run Games was doing a physical release for it, and they're still taking pre-orders for, like, the standard copy. I managed to get the Collector's Edition before it sold out, so I'm really excited for that. Look forward to maybe an unboxing of that when I get it sometime, like, in March or April. I'm really excited to see it, but yeah, pick it up if you guys haven't bought it yet, whether it be physical or, uh, you know, digital. Really give it a chance. I think this game deserves all the love it's been getting. Um, I've been having such a blast. I haven't played a game this amazing in a long time, but uh, yeah, we'll continue on through Reflections in the next episode. I'm really interested in seeing where this goes. As always, you guys have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.